Hi everyone! I am a gamer mom, and today we're back with Frambo. We're gonna continue. Where were we? Ah, oh, yes. Oh my goodness! Where am I? Huh? What is this? A hat? <gasps> Mr. Midnight? Oh no! Your head! Kitty! Wait just a second. This is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Alright, gorgeous. Anyways, I have to find kitty. I hope you are here somewhere. What's this? I won't lay down in that thing. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Oh, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. I have a pot. Are those eyes? Ugh. Hmm. A head. From a human, I guess. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. A cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. Uh, mm, yummy. Cookies in all colors and flavors. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Flower makes me sneeze, but that is a funny feeling. King Leo's baking soda. This always made the best cupcakes. A pine cone? I don't dare to touch it. it maybe it will attack me. Mr. Midnight? Those girls? They took my kitty. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Okay. Uh... Stool? I won't sit down. What's this? The bag smells funny. I won't touch it. I don't like beans that much. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. Salt! A very good ingredient. It opened. Oh, what is that inside? Oh, a starter potato. I wonder who Mush is, because he owns all the mushrooms. What a pretty can. I won't take somebody else's food. Not all of it, anyways. Peppa. Always good to dress up the soup. Do I want to... Do I want to... This... If there's garlic, there are no vampires. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they are insects. Squirrels? Body pots? I don't want to know. Flowers? They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers, then. I have a matches to light up the darkness or just for fun. Can I fill up my pot with some water? Water, water in the pot, ready to cook. I have no clue what I'm cooking, but apparently I'm going to cook something. Okay, hey, next room. Oh, what a pretty table. Delicious and beautiful. That cake looks absolutely yummy. Chocolate cake, my favorite. Mm, caramel sauce all over it. Sweet candy. Cookies. Sugar in many colors. The teapot has no tea at all. This is not my cup. What's this? A vase. To put some flowers in. It has ashes inside. Cozy and warm. Firewood in line to be burned. <clears throat> now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. Is that a flying pig? It is. Aw, little girls. Aw, they're adorable. Very pretty. Interesting. What's over here? Uh, oh. Oh my goodness, the smell. Burning candles. Many tiny paintings, and there is a cat. There is a cat. What's this stuff? Jance. 
Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Typewriter. Oh, a typewriter. And it works. There are many books and things on the shelf. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Uh, if you say so, Sweepy. The stairs end up in a wall. Okay. Kind of strange. What about these stairs? Do they end in a wall too? No. Okay. The drawer opened. Let me see what's inside. Black candles to light up the darkness. A monster who likes goats? Broom. I have a broom. A broom to fly away. Or just to clean around. <coughs> the sisters. They look alike. Oh, pretty rose. Red rose in a painting. Huh. Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Well, let's look in this room first. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Ugh, it's that monster and so much blood. White candles everywhere. This looks like a very old painting. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. Ugh, these toys are so ugly. Hello, doll. Who caught you? Tweezers. To pick up things that my little hands can't. Mm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Nice stuff. Very girly. Okay, let's go up. I'm not going to say anything about it. I have nothing to say. Uh. Those shoes are too big for me. A bunny doll? Are you waiting for Easter? Mr. Midnight? Are you here, kitty? Meow! Uff, uh, it's you! Oh my goodness, my beloved friend! I found you! Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally! It's me! Come closer, please! Let me see you! Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you! I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. Yeah. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them, but after a while I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. Wish everything was just a bad dream. I'm tired, too. But at least now we can take care of each other. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure. Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran... Did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you. All right, I love you. A scorpion? Scorpions make me nervous. Me too. Just one hat. Aw, oh, pretty doll. Oh, what a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. The toys in the attic always carry sadness within them. Aw. A lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? A bunch of records. Ooh, Mr. Rat, it's time to get up.
Again, do I have nothing to say? Oh! You scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? Oh, waiting for me? Why? You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad tri died tragically very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? You're scaring me. How can you know all this? We just know we have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. So we shouldn't be sad about it? I wish I was at home with Mommy and Daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great, I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Not hungry. Just tell me who told you about me. Are you scared, little Fran? Of course not. I'm just curious at all. That's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves a cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He is my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant aunt. And I killed a bug. And it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They lived in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, oh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in a tree because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, in from Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old, but I have to turn eleven soon. And you? We are sixteen years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite, and you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. I'm not stupid, and I do have a family. My Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Bitch. Yeah, yeah. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyways, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon the old lost but Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. You mean you weren't born like this? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back, but we will do that later when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. This sounds very scary, but I guess I'll have to do this for my kitty. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him.
And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Now you're just taunting her. Can you, you silly, silly girl? <sighs> it's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Oh! A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Hey, hey you! Yes? Who's speaking? Uh, me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes? So what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad. And I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl... Please save us all. I really want to get out of here. A big, big rock. I'll leave it there. A long woody plank. I could do something with it. Pink roses. Ow! I pricked my little finger. Bad roses. I need wood for this? No. Um, how about mat matches? Okay. This on there? Um. I, I will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, and the burnt body of a Fox. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Um... There are many books and things on the shelf. How was it? So many that it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. Mm. Oh, a typewriter, and it works. Can I use this? On the typewriter? I could write something, but what? Oh no. Oh my goodness, the smell. Um, so go talk to my kitty? The drawer is empty. Oh, Fran, did you get the key already? No, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair from me and took some blood. Oh, my dear. I think they're witches. Wicked witches. You know, like in the stories we like to read. 
Yes, you are absolutely right, but I don't know what to do. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before, and that they will get revenge against the one who did this to them. And they also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They have the evil inside. I mean, maybe that someone had its reason. I guess we have to fight evil with evil. There must be something. Something they are really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. See you soon, my dearest. I mean, I thought I looked at, like, everything. Amir, but why is my reflection not there? I wonder what the deal is with doll heads and roses. Um... doing oh a dancing teddy it doesn't have shoe this looks like a plant Did you find a solution already? I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that makes you see th things that others can't. How do you know that? I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. Yes, you are right. But what about the things I can see then? Have you seen everything? Maybe you are missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. Doubters need the truth on paper. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. Okay, I can't get back in that way, so I'm gonna have to go in and then take the pill. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Oh, I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? A secret bottle with a secret inside. Can I use this somewhere? Okay, can I use this here? I can. I can't lift it. It's too heavy for me. Oh, things not working makes me angry. Um... I really want that bottle. What am I missing? Ah, oh, it won't work.
Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Okay, so I'm missing something then. I need something, like a knife or something. <sighs> um, just takes me here. I... I'm kind of lost. So I'm going to leave this video here. And we'll figure it out in the next one. So if you liked it... <laughs> so, if you liked it, leave a like down below. If you have anything to say, go ahead and leave me a comment. And like always... Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys all later. Bye!